last year we had an abundance of persimmons, or a friend of mine did anyway. And so she gave me literally five gallon buckets of persimmons. And what I did is I went ahead and I just um, froze them. I peeled them and froze them. And I canned a bunch of them. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some persimmon roll-ups and what I call persimmon drops. So I'm heating it up and I'm going to cook it down a little bit, take some of that liquid out. And I put in, and I didn't measure anything, I just um, shook in a little cinnamon, um, some honey, and um, a little bit of nutmeg. And I might put in just a touch of brown sugar, I usually don't, but I might. It just depends to get it to the taste that I want it. But right now, it is just cinnamon, nutmeg, and honey. Okay? And like I said, I'm going to let that cook down some because I want it a little thicker so when I spread it on the sheets, it stays nice. And um, when we do that, then I'm going to spread it out on my Paraflex sheets and we're going to dehydrate it. And if it's thicker, like when I first peel them sometimes, then um, some of them are thicker and I'll just have big like globs, so to speak. Those are perfect for making those persimmon drops when you get like just chunk of persimmon like that. And they are so sweet and awesome. Now remember, with the persimmon, it's all about the fact it really has to be very, very ripe to the point that they're kind of mushy. So I'll show you when we get there. Okay. So, if you'll see, it's definitely thickened up some. It's not like if you were making a jam, although I was thinking about letting a little bit of this thicken up and making it into persimmon better. But, we'll see about that. So, anyway, you'll see it's getting thicker, and this is about right. It could go a little thicker and be a little more, you know, candy-like, I guess you could say. But, um, this will work spread it out on my Paraflex sheets and uh, I've got a couple of them already done and in the dehydrator waiting so we'll go from there okay so right now I've got five trays and I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep the rest like I said and take it down to make some persimmon butter so I'll make that into another video following this one Okay, and set the thermostat as a fruit since it's persimmons and 135, which is 135. And basically, there's some humidity in the air today, so I'm gonna say it's gonna take a very long time, but I'll let you know exactly how long when it's done. I'll set the timer. Okay, left the house for about two and a half hours, and so this is the progress. A lot of that liquid is gone. It's getting there. Another couple of hours and we'll be ready to flip over. Take off of the Paraflex. A couple of them, I didn't have enough Paraflex. I only have five Paraflex sheets, so I, um, I just use parchment paper, but the Paraflex sheets are so much easier. There we go. Alright, we'll check it in another three, four hours. Okay, so last night I went ahead and I just left the persimmons to go all night. Um, so they went roughly almost 24 hours, not quite. Um, probably 21 hours, I would say, roughly. And I just did that. I turned them down a bit. I didn't leave them on 135 the whole time. Once they were kind of um, touch tacky. Since I was leaving them all, all night, I turned it down to 110. And um, so what I'm doing now is I turned some of them into little candies. And that's just parchment paper wrapping around it. And I just take the sheets, because they're kind of broken up and a little bit on the gooey side. And um, I just roll them up into little balls. And then I cut strips of parchment paper and then I cut them into squares and I just roll the little candies and if I have some that I want longer sheets then I'll take a whole sheet like this fold it in half 
and then just roll it up and I'll show you. Basically you'll see the sheet is kind of broken up and or holes in it and the reason why it's like that is because it was thicker in places and I didn't let it dry enough. It was still tacky but I was getting tired and I wanted to go ahead and peel them off of the Paraflex sheets and let them finish drying for the night. So um, that's when I said, well, it doesn't matter. I'll just turn them into candies. So that's why we have like missing spots and globs. But see here where you see a nice piece of sheet. What I'll do is I'll cut it right here and then I'll fold it in half and then I'll roll it onto the parchment paper. Okay, so just cut down the line here and then you'll end up with a piece like this then fold it in half and it just you don't have to fold it in half you can cut a thinner strip but it's kind of thin in some spots so I do it like that and then sometimes I might add another piece but then you fold over the end and I know this is kind of self-explanatory but just in case and then just roll it and that way you can kind of it's just like a fruit roll up in a box but these are mighty good and persimmons are so healthy for you let me see I have all this so I can either add more to it or I can just go ahead and um, pull it off and then that way I can use it to put the candies on I'll cut it actually okay so now you know how to roll the persimmons and then with the candies here actually I'll do one go ahead and pull this off and we'll do a candy and the candy works the same way except we have a little wad here and these are good I mean they're just perfect size and this one was a little bit big but that's okay the main thing is you want to make sure it goes all the way around and then you just twist the little ends and I hope I'm staying on camera here twist the little ends Oops. Try not to get your gloves in there. And there you go. Candy.